hi guys welcome back to another video so today uh, with the release of tears of the kingdom a couple of weeks ago i thought i should uh rank my five favorite zelda games so uh yeah sadly i haven't played ocarina of time i really want uh to play that game but i don't have the console which is unfortunate so yeah the ones i've played i'm gonna rank i've played like at least like seven or eight so that's pretty cool so i'm gonna rank my top five now guys this is my opinion so of course you can disagree with me but uh yeah let's just go into the video so in number five i have the legend of zelda link's awakening now i didn't play the original i only played like the remake on the switch but let me tell you it was fun and it is fun i really want to play this on my channel and i probably will but yeah this game is so awesome like I, the dungeons were so sick i got i got stuck on some of the puzzles though but like those owls that tell you like like clues were really good i think like the, like there were so many dungeons and like every, each dungeon was different and they had like a different unique boss and they all had like sick mini bosses and everything like i remember the last dungeon i was stuck on for like hours but it was it was an amazing time and it's an experience i wish i could relive because this game's amazing and it deserves to be recognized for how good it is but yeah on to number four Alright, for my number four, it's Horror Warriors Age of Calamity. Now, I know technically it's not a Zelda game, it's a Horror Warriors game, but it was developed closely with the Zelda team, so I'm going to allow it. So, yeah, Horror Warriors Age of Calamity is basically kind of like a prequel to Breath of the Wild, but like, the story's a bit different, but I don't mind that. But the, the gameplay is it's alright, but, like, I love the story of it. Like, I love the cutscenes, I, like I love the characters. Like, the gameplay wasn't bad, it's just I like the normal Zelda gameplay more, but, like, like, I still really loved, like, killing, like, hundreds of enemies in, like, one swing. And I thought, like, they had better bosses, like, better, like, main villains. Like, I, I did, like, Calamity Ganon was, like, stronger in this game, and I liked that more. And so were the heroes, so it was, like, more even. Because in Breath of the Wild, it's, like, an absolute destruction, as, like, the story was told. But in this game, it was, like, like even, and I liked that more, if you know what I mean. And I thought it was really cool that you got to play as, like, many different characters. And, like, the cutscenes were awesome. Astor was, like, an insane villain. I loved it. And, yeah, Horror Warriors Age of Calamity is an incredible uh, prequel and yeah I'll, I'll remember playing this game for the first time as a demo I remember the demo came out I was so excited but yeah Horror Warriors Age of Calamity <sighs> one of my favorite Zelda games and games of all time all right my number three pick is Skyward Sword oh my god the first time I played this game I loved it I played a tiny bit of it on the Wii but then when the uh, HD remake came out on the Switch, I, like, played the full game. And I have to tell you, I was playing literally all day long. I loved this game so much. I think it was, like, the summer holiday it came out. And I was literally just playing so much then. Oh, my gosh, the dungeons are, like, one of a kind. Like, I remember the Ancient Cistern. Oh, my God, that was the funnest, like, that was the best dungeon I've ever done in a video game. Insane. And Girahim, I think that was his name incredible villain and demise so cool like the villains in this game were awesome the enemies the bosses the bosses were definitely amazing i just loved everything about this game it's so fun and it's definitely a game i'll remember for hopefully the rest of my life because it deserves to be in my memory because of how amazing and brilliant this game was every single mission i was like oh it was ev something cool happened in every mission and it was just incredible. I was so excited to play it. I was I was expecting something different every time and it happened. So yeah, Skyward Sword is definitely my number three. My number two is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh my god. This game was my favourite game for so long until number one. Which you all probably know what it is. But Breath of the Wild is amazing. You start off in like this... like tutorial section kind of and it's insane in getting you to like know what the game will be about and when you get off it it's like oh my god where the hell do i go it's like you see everything i remember when i got off i was just going to places that caught my eye like i remember when i first saw the guardians in horror field i was terrified and i was like how the hell do i kill this thing now the divine beasts weren't as good as like the other dungeons in other games but let me tell you that 
it was incredible like the build up like the excitement i didn't even care if the puzzles were easy i was just so happy to be playing a game that good and like exploring and it was just incredible and breath of the world is a video game i'm never gonna forget because it was so incredible and like exploring the world seeing all the secrets finding out link's memories and the story it was just absolutely incredible i don't think there's any other game that could quite set the tone of a series as breath of the wild it's like setting the zelda series into a, like another kind of place but it's incredible You, you guys all probably knew it was coming, but number one is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But why? what else could it be? This game is absolutely incredible, but don't worry guys, there won't be any spoilers. Let me just say, the dungeons have upgraded massively from Breath of the Wild. And I, I haven't fully beaten the game yet, but there will be a full like a review of the game when I do. But, oh my god, this game is incredible so far. My journey around the world has just been sick. Like, once you get off, like, the tutorial section of this game, it's so overwhelming. There's so much to do, so much to see. Everything catches your eye. Like, I was heading straight, to, I was going to a main mission, and then I saw something else, and I went towards that. I did that, and then I saw something else, and I kept going for, like, like three hours i was like oh wait i was supposed to do that and let me tell you ganondorf <laughs> he is an awesome villain and like the people like the champion descendants like are so much cooler in this game you get more depth depth to them and like you can see how the world has changed from breath of the wild to tears of the kingdom and i find that really awesome and and let me tell you this game is massive like absolutely massive if you thought breath of the wild was big this game, take it, double it, double it again, and then double it again. There's like the side quests. Like there was like one or two big side quests in Breath of the Wild. Tis the Kingdom has like a whole like list of side adventures that are like way bigger, like the Tarrytown quest and stuff. But yeah, there's so much more to do in this game, so many more blazes to explore, and the story is just so much better in this game than Breath of the Wild. I won't spoil anything to do with the story, but let's just say it feels more present. Like Breath of the Wild, the story kind of happened like a hundred years back, but it feels like it's happening now, and like you, it's your decision of what happens, and I find that really cool. So yeah, that's my top five favourite Zelda games. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please smash the like and subscribe. And I'm also doing like a Let's Play series of Tears of the Kingdom. So please go and check that out because they are not doing well. But, you know, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. But, but yep, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.